So some people call this Los Santos, but I call it the Cozy Grove. Welcome to Cozy Grove. Game about camping on a haunted, ever-changing island. As a spirit scout, we we'll wander the island forest each day, finding new hidden secrets, helping soothe their local ghosts. A little time and a lot of crafting. It'll bring color and joy back to the cozy grove. Anyways, guys, secret code here, and we are playing a game that I think will be kind of like Animal Crossing. It is a life sim game. Dynamic hand-drawn landscapes and all that good stuff. Dozens of memorable characters. Collect spirits, 40 hours of campaign filled with side quests and designs to span for months, so... We will see what this brings us. So uh, let's. This game is actually out on um, Apple Arcade. We're gonna just check some of the options here, and we'll go ahead and just get started and see what happens. Sorry, guys, I've been away for a while. I've been working really, really hard, and uh, as as you all know, uh, with all this COVID stuff going on, it's tough right now. So. I'm back because here in um, Ontario, there's a shutdown. So four weeks at home. So I might as well be grinding some content out right to you guys. And I will bring wobbly dogs. I know a lot of people want wobbly dogs. It is coming. I promise you. Anyways, let's get started. Welcome to the Spirit Scout. Before you head out on your first solo campaign trip, fix yourself up. All right, let's see what we can do here. Cute, very cute. Almost too cute. Eyes as black as thunder. Hmm, is there a way I can take that hat off? It's kind of obstructing my view. Same same stuff as uh, the mobile version, not much different. Oh, do the Superman hair, I guess. Looking good. Now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note that the previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area. Use caution. Have fun. Keep firing your blah, blah, blah. keep your fire burning. Spirit Scout motto: All those who are lost deserve kindness. Okay, very very gorgeous, definitely hand drawn. B, I am using an Xbox controller. Okay, to start a fire up. <laughs> How old are those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like centuries at least. So, where have you brought us this time? I'm a little bit disoriented, not quite sure. Fine, be coy. I'll read the Scoutmaster letter myself. <clears throat> it's a little sing, but I think it's safe to say we're on Cozy Grove. I sense dozens of wounded, restless spirits here, desperate for help, and not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like a sort of place for a young spirit. Okay, let me read a normal voice to go over for their first solitary excursion. Ah well, if you weren't here, the scout must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? I'm very ready. That's the spirit. I see the ghost of Ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, Scout. Go introduce yourself. All right. Go we'll introduce herself. Oh, she's just right here. Ooh. Huh? Another imaginary camper? Must have brewed my Lady Cray a little strong this morning. Unless, say, you're not a real living person, are you? Guilty as charged. 
Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warbler hatched. Welcome to the Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. But that uniform of yours looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. It does change the forecast a bit. What's the sun behind the clouds, so to speak? Uh, that's when, that's right, 100% bona fide scout. Is that a problem? I'm trained to fix all your ghostly woos. What do you have against spirit scouts? You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. Oh. It did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past, though. Is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning to stay at night, remember the first rule of the world in the survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is wooden logs. Light it and toss it in the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. Alright. Logs. Amount of disturbed earth. Okay. You want to talk again? What would you like to do? Here's a log for you. Oh, no, no, no. I need the log for myself. Well, I mean, I could, I guess I can give you a log. This spirit wood. Where did you get this? From a bear in a ranger suit. Bear in a ranger suit. I see. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of Spearwood confirms my suspicion. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past. They may not even remember who they are or how they died. If enough times has elapsed, since they passed away. Ah, the spirit wood has fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see. Someone new. A crafter of useful things. Hey, that's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? If you can find more spirit wood out there, a little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire sure to cause some distant campers home. Okay. You have earned a new badge. Cool. Story advanced. Coins everywhere. And we're getting some color in this beautiful world. Give me that coin. Give me that coin. Oh, I guess you can see me. So sorry. I figured I was invisible. Apology accepted. That's very, very kind of you. More than I deserve, I'm so sure. Till I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you. Make her, buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as a ghost. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise you I'll make it worth your while. Huh? What about you guys? Hmm? <laughs> One, two, there's three, yeah. 
Here's your branches, buddy. Look at these sticks. What a beaut. A twist here, a scoop there, and a voila! Your first shovel. Not my finest work. The paws kept slipping through the lath. But if you want to dig up soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. See? Spirits? I've helped this poor scout. My hunting is complete. Still here, aren't I? Darn it. One filmsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spear log too. Oh, thank you. Very beautiful. Those things are like very, very cool. Great. Add more uh, log to this. Well done. My light is expanding again. I now see it. An old friend, Mr. Kit, has a notice on our beacon and set up a canteen shop. Huh? He looks like it. He, uh, he looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. Okay. Sometimes you can find things on the island simply by exploring with a keen eye. Other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles laying around? Try digging through those and see what you come across. You'll be surprised what you can find. Just the other day I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Okay, okay. We will try to look for something we'll... A lot of things we can look for. We're adding color back to this island. So far, very, very linear. A bird this time. In life, I was a bear. Oh, the sea. I sped from the cozy grove to the main and back again. A hundred times over. Unnatural, some said. Or bear to fly, twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, did not. And now I am transformed. A vast young person. How long have you been standing there? He caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Bill Beweather the Snort. How some now call me the Seagull Bear. So, are you a bear or a seagull? Ah, a bit of both. It's a strange thing to be a seagull bear. Two halves have precious little in common. Except, of course, for love of fish. Speaking of, are ye hungry, young sailor? Fetch me fish and rod. And I'll show ye what's on the menu. Alright, alright. I have no problems with fishing, good sir. Hmm. Okay, okay.
wilderness guide. You reached level two. Getting all those coins. Not quite sure how to use this stuff though. Oh, you have to buy it, okay. Mr. Kito. Oh, this guy is huge. Why, hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The islands vaulted into quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me. I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course. But I am far too polite to repeat it. I have a standing agreement with the spirit scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch, I set the price. How can I help you? I just, I just want to buy something. Take a look at all the shiny new stuff. I can part with this ocean fishing rod for 20 gold. Sure. Thanks, buddy. That's it. Why, it's an old spirit scout wheel and a scale it. And hey, the memento collection, a portion of this book is still intact. That's where the scouts track their progress helping local spirits, which I have to admit is what I'm pretty good at. Now hold on to this and use it to track your progress helping the spirit of Cozy Grove. Would you like to look at the Memento Collection book now? This spirit here it is. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Nope. No. Do you like the island more during the day or night? In the day you can see everything. It's only at the night you can see things that glow. Where flies those strange mushrooms? I guess you could say... Bioluminance is a hobby of mine. Okay. Okay, let's give you the last log. Delicious. Hmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more log should do it. I sense someone has a log. They're eager to give it to you if you can help them. Okay, okay. Been helping people doing their errands, you know, following the storyline path. And knock down this stuff. Yes. Come here. Oh, that's just a picture. I thought he had like a kid or something. Okay, down. Oh yeah, that's right. Almost forgot about your fishing rod, buddy. Hey, sailor. That will do. That will do nicely. Oh, what are you waiting for? If he wants to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take the rod and catch us a whooper. It really takes just a piece of a heart to get a... Alright, interesting. Yeah. 
Yay. The ugly larch. Delicious. Nutritious. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I, I got you a lodge. Okay. Okay. I see you already got... <laughs> I see you've already been testing out your rod. Well, either give me the one you've got or catch a new one. I'll be waiting. Yeah, just literally. Ah, uh, fine, you managed to dredge up there. Good eating. I think ye and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat is washed out to sea. My, my boat? What? Oh, uh, yes. Hellus not in a fickle tide was a tittle to chocolate ate the word to bat the word. Don't blame yourself. This island is a malstorm of ill fortunes, churned by our wretched tales of ghostly woo. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, and may leave this place. So, young sailor, though you're living in the scout, I am a ghost and we have something in common. We both strand here on the cozy grove. Whatever plan ye had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single vein. But, aim out of your mind. We bear aren't overnight projects anymore. We're your neighbors, Croc. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> you pretty. I love it. I love it when it's in color. It's so pretty. I always like doing pirate sorts of accents. They're fun to do. There's different variations of them that you can do. It's a potato. Here's a log for you. Ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first. Trust and understand is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears. Guide them through remembering themselves eventually. They will find their peace. Ah, my light shines further. Illuminates lost corners in time. I see another figure. Absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. What do we have in common? What would you like to do? You know, we weren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost or any animals visit these wood. In fact, I think a wanderer in, uh, wander into Mr. Kiss shop just uh, this morning. It may look like a simple charm of young, placid birds. If you buy and bring it to me, I will show you its secrets. Ah, so you're the type that makes a young man do your missions? Let's see. I want to buy something. I have lots of money right now. A happy spirit animal. Feed cooked food. Then harvest essence around it with items it likes to increase your harvest. Yeah, sounds great. Purchase. Got it. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. It seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? When it's placed on the ground, it transforms into a true self, a ghost bird. If they're given specific food and kept near things like uh things like they will thrive the poor birds is hungry 
I'll order some food it will like. But the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find a spot to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? Okay, okay. Can do that, I can do that. Ooh. Turn the catch on fire. Um, okay. Cool bird. Pet. Thanks, he likes donuts. He dislikes imps. Beat cooked food, then harvest essence. Okay. Oh, well, when I get that food, I will definitely do that. What would you like to do? Can I help you with something? Hey there, maker buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. For what? I made you slipshod shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course it hasn't worked. Uh, maybe because the shovel I gave you is not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First, I thought I was going to need some softwood root vegetables and wood branches. Oh, that's what he needs. Just making me run amok. Our pirate friend needs more stuff too. A chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones in my very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a tad bit. Too bad I just molted. A lot, a lot of missions. Lots and lots of missions. One feather. Yum, only four more. Two. More bears. A truthful boar, the postal bear at your disposal. You know, when I joined this harass, I figured I'd be in for a life, and I was. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts, it's a whole new bag. A whole new bag? Oh, busting out the postal humor for the jump. You and I will get along just fine. Before I went to boost up, my work had a certain uh, routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town post office at a little hundred sharp. I relayed on those deliveries to the last, to the listed residents, ghost deliveries though. They are processed through a psychic plane. They just show up wherever and whenever they want to. I ran patrol this morning, looking for new arrivals. But I bet spirit there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked. Now I gotta get packages. Lots and lots of errands. One. Getting a lot of softwood. <laughs> Alright, keep your eyes peeled for feather. Uh, we got a feather here. You got all your feathers, buddy. 
Oh, I thought we had all your feathers. I guess we need two more. It's almost like, where's Waldo with all this stuff? Another one right here. There we go. Got the last feather. Twoch! That's a fine set of feathers, but why bother helping me like a castaway when you have such troubles of your own? And just being neighborly. I hurry neighborly. Ye might find some what put stock in the concept here in Quozy Grove, but it doesn't mean much to us birds, still I thank ye. With these bits of fluff and pad in my coat, the wind bite does lose its teeth. But bundles of a roll after life comes to me clears white rum. Even in death, ye cannot re-feather your wings. Ah, that's much better, much more pretty. Very relaxing so far, just very simple. Nothing uh, too complicated. Just gotta find... Uh, maybe he has some in stock? I don't know. Too spectacular in the clothing category. A postal helper, how exciting. Oh yes, the thrill of the post. Unidentified supernatural deliverable as aka USD will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or whisper, but that's it. But if you come across a troublesome package, one oh, that's screaming in Aramic or spewing demon fire, well, you just send that puppy my way. Okay, I can do that, I can do that. Because one way or another, a thing is bound to be addressed to me. Oh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Wait, I have a mailbox? Yes, here it is. Okay, okay. Cool. Thank you. Ooh, the money, the money. The big house.
That's quite a lot of material. <laughs> Sorry. That's quite a lot of material you gathered. And I bet you're wondering what sort of tool is he going to make w from this? Sorry, no tools this time. Did you know the folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass that skill on to you, I can pass it on to myself. My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Here, have something in a uh, craft recipe. Okay, basically learning something to build myself. Great, let me show you the workshop. Oh. Still lots to learn. Okay, and now I probably get to craft a lot of things with all that wood. Now I think I have everything. Delicious. Two more logs and then full. Just one final log and I'll be full. I'm not sensing any more spirits. Check back with the spirits tomorrow to see if they need help. For now, maybe go fishing or collecting some seashells. All right, I think maybe that's a good point to stop right now. Just a little bit of a quick look. I like doing this little quick look so you can figure out the game on yourself, but we'll just see real quick. Kind of showed you a little bit of everything. Probably not even. Oh, wait, let's take right here. Collecting seashells, but a seashore. It's kind of uh, hard to see some of the things that are the same exact color. You have to really, really look hard. The seashells, but a seashore. I'm gonna craft something. Yes. Thank you, my friend. Oops. All right. Just need to get some more stuff. Uh, what is this? Might have to come back tomorrow, the next day, to see what happens. Like, legitimately, tomorrow. Like Animal Crossing. Maybe that's the closest thing we got to Animal Crossing so far. Wish we can go into these houses, that'd be pretty cool. Or we can plot where the houses are. what the fox has first I want a new look oh, okay. nothing nothing too too huge give me some some cool stuff all right well 
that's possibly it unless you can go to sleep here yep we'll have to wait till tomorrow to see what happens next maybe i'll make another one of this tomorrow as well might as well just do uh one one last fish fishing trip Okay, I'll uh, just get it hooked real quick. Oh, yes, an ice cream fish, a leather skin. That's an interesting looking fish. Ooh, a lungfish, collapsed lungfish. Let's see what uh, yeah, was here. Another one, ha! The show, my friend, that brings us to a closing. Cozy Grove. A game where you can relax, play on your own time, and check back in day to day to see what's going on in the world, like Animal Crossing or other games. But for today, we rest and we bring you another episode of something else tomorrow, or Wobbly Dogs, or possibly this again. I'm Seeker Code. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I know it's been a while. But it's been tough for us all. So baby, I can get you away from all this stuff going on in the world. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I gotta get used to this again. I'm stuttering all over my own words while I'm reading. And let's just do this together. Thank you guys. I love you. I'm Secret Code. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Secret Code is out.